Well, if you were ever wondering why it is that lions climb trees out here, just have a look at the numerous flies, hundreds of thousands of them gathered around this buffalo kill, and within that, some of them will be biting flies. They bite us too, setsy flies. It feels, how did um, Steph describe it? It feels a bit like somebody took a very thin wire and put it in a flame for a few seconds and then touched your skin with it. And you can imagine that's not very pleasant if you're a lion or a person or indeed anyone. And that's one of the big reasons why lions in this particular area will often go up into the trees. I've only seen it once since I've been here, so I'm hoping to see more of it. It's such a strange image for us who are sort of programmed to see leopards in trees to suddenly see the great vast bulk of a lion. Hey girl, she's contemplating going and eating something, or oh, growling at a cub. Ooh, fly in the ear. My ear, not the lioness's ear. Where are you going? I'm just looking at this lioness and trying to figure out where she's going, so if I duck out of your way, things will change when we have pucker. Um, we have one of the lionesses, I think, just going off in search of some relief from the flies and from the cubs. Uh, we have a question, and I'm sorry I missed the name, but Alice will feed it through, me, through to me in roughly 10 seconds. We have a question about how it is that you can tell whether a cub is a boy or a girl. Katie, Katie, welcome to the Sunset Safari. Katie, you want to know how you can tell if the cub's a boy or a girl. It's actually quite tricky if you're not entirely sort of geared up towards figuring that stuff out. Uh, the gap between the, let me try and describe this properly. Essentially, because young males, they haven't hit puberty yet, so their testicles haven't descended. So you can't obviously tell in that way, but what it does is the space where the testicles will descend is quite clear in a male cub, whereas in a female, that space is slightly reduced between the rectum or the anus and the reproductive organs. And if you ask really nicely, Katie, I'm sure some of our viewers will have a really great guide. I've seen a picture that many people have shared, and I've got it in my reference books, but unfortunately not with me at the moment. There go the cubs, look, Dave. Trotting after mum, let me duck down out of your way. Little things in long grass. Won't you show us underneath your tail so we can tell if you're a boy or a girl? That's not going to happen. So Katie, if perhaps some of our viewers would be kind enough to share that little diagram with you on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Mom's calling cubs now. There goes another little one, Dave. Sorry, I'm bouncing you all over the place. There you go. There's another one of the young ones. Before we used to just have to duck our heads. Now we have to duck our entire bodies. Oh, it's making little sounds. Oh, I've missed this. Apparently you all at Juma have had the wonderful opportunity of seeing a new Inkohuma cub, but it's been a while. Oh, screenshot bottom quickly, if you had a chance. No, it's gone now behind the grass. I was thinking perhaps we could do a quick guess as to whether this is a male or a female cub walking away from us. I hear you've got a new cub of the Inkohumas to keep you entertained, but we haven't seen lion cubs in a while. Not little lion cubs. Oh, it's going to go off right to mum, let Jamie... Oh, sorry, sorry, I keep forgetting how <laughs> how low the camera is. Oh, wow. There we go, screenshot everybody if the cub lifts its tail. Colleen, you say, oh, such a cute baby. Oh, they are sweet, aren't they? One older and two younger by the looks of things. In fact, that might even be three different ages. Looking at them now, one's definitely a lot younger than the other two. All right, our lioness is going back towards the kill. We're not going anywhere. My head's in the way again. Let's go across to Taylor with a massive tusker.